everyone. Today we will be reading The Smelly Thing by Gavin Buckley. Taking a look at the cover and after hearing the title, does anyone have any ideas on what this story will be about? Well, let's see if your predictions are right. At the top of the hill, standing all on his own, is a curious creature a long way from home. With a boulder-sized body on the short, stumpy legs and a thin, hairy tail all covered with pegs. A boulder is a really big rock. Have you ever seen a boulder? He has short little tusks and huge flappy ears and sad little eyes crying sad little tears. Oh no, why do you think the elephant is crying? It's Samson the elephant, a glum little chap, with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back. He stays well away from the elephant fun as the herd romp and stomp in the warm summer sun. They hop and they skip and they jump and they shout, but one snip of his whip and he's always left out. Uh-oh, the herd thinks Samson is smelly, so they don't want to play with him. What should Samson do? So Samson just sits as they giggle and grin. He watches them play, but he doesn't join in. For this is the smelly fin a lonely weed chap with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back. Now I know what you're thinking. He just needs a bath. A good scrub in the tub and he'll be on the right path. Do you think Samson the elephant will take a bath? But it isn't that simple, and he'd rather stay dry. He's terrified of water, but no one knows why. Samson is scared of taking a bath. Do you think he will face his fear? So Samson just sits as they paddle and swim. He watches them splash, but he doesn't join in. For this is the smelly fin, a scared little chap, with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back. But later that day, as they snooze by the pool, the sky turns black and the air grows cool. Can you see the sky getting darker? What do you think is going to happen? A rumble of thunder, a flash of white light, and all of the elephants jump up with a fright. But Samson just sits as they, st as they tumble and spin. He watches them run. But he doesn't join in. For this is the smelly fin, a puzzled wee chap, with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back. Wow, look at how crazy the lightning looks. The clouds crash again, the herd huddles low. There's no place to hide and no place to go. The herd looks scared. Would you be scared of a storm? As the storm rumbles on, the rain starts to fall. Samson just shrugs. This isn't scary at all. But the herd's in a fix. What a pickle they're in. 
Then, with a flick of his tail, an idea comes to him. Samson has an idea. Let's see how he helps the herd. For this is the smelly fin, a clever wee chap. Three pegs in his trunk and none at the back. The rain rattles down, the wind whistles by. He pegs up their ears in the blink of an eye. As if under a blanket, all cozy and warm, the herd snuggles down, now safe from the storm. Samson was nice and helped his herd. See how comfy they are? The rain gently fades, dark clouds drift away. Birds sing in the trees and the sun lights the day. But where is the smelly fin? That brave little chap with a knot on his trunk and a pong at the back? What do you think happened to Samson? They search high and low until suddenly they see a curious little creature. No, could it be? Who do you think it is? He has a boulder sized body on short stumpy legs and a thin soggy tail with no sign of the pegs. He has short little tusks and huge flappy ears. It's Samson, they cry amidst welcoming cheers. Wow, they found Samson and he's all clean. For now he's a hero, that rain washed wee chap with a knot in his trunk and the sun at his back. And as it sets over the hill, they all join in song about the tale of the smelly vent who got rid of his pong. The end. Were your predictions right about the story? Thanks for reading with me. Bye everyone.